Newly released police video shows what led up to the deadly shooting of a 13 year old boy in Texas. Get out! Get out! Let me see your hands! Hey, get your hands. Keep your hands up! It happened on June 3rd of last year in San Antonio. At the time, 911 calls came in for reports of gunshots and loud music at about 1 o'clock in the morning. I literally just passed by them and they were looking at me and they just shot their gun. Uh, well, I live on the 4900 block of War Horse and oh. somebody's shooting an AR or something out here. Okay. How many minutes ago did you hear the gunshots, sir? Well, literally like two, three seconds ago. And how many gunshots have you heard? Over 20. Dash and body camera video show three San Antonio Police Department officers respond to the calls, eventually zeroing in on a stolen red Toyota Corolla. The driver was 13-year-old Andre Hernandez. Hey! As officers approach the vehicle, it makes a U-turn, eventually ramming into a squad car. Video then shows Officer Steven Ramos get out of his vehicle. He opens fire, hitting 13-year-old Hernandez. Separate dash cam video shows Hernandez stumble out of the driver's seat. The officer then works to detain him. At the same time, the officer whose squad car was hit climbs through the window. Get out! Let me see your hands! Hey! Get your hands. Keep your hands up! Keep your hands where I can see them! Get out! Body camera video shows a person in the back seat of the stolen car with their hands up. The video is later blurred as the person is under 18. Keep your hands up! After this, he can be heard yelling to officers, asking to contact Hernandez's family. Hey, threw that bag over there. That... Listen, listen. Can you call his sister, please? Her son, her son. Hey, don't move. Come here, sit down here. Sit down right there. Sit down right there. We're gonna try to help him out. Sit down right there. Call his family. Hernandez was taken to the hospital, but died as a result of his injuries. In a report released by the Bexar County Criminal District Attorney's Office, officials say Officer Ramos was within his rights to use deadly force against Hernandez because of this key moment. Hey! Let me see your hands! Body camera video shows that officer, identified only as Officer Espinanza, pulling his leg quickly back into his squad car before Hernandez crashes into it with the Toyota. Law enforcement argue Officer Ramos's use of deadly force was justified because he believed the other officer was in danger. Last week, the district attorney's office presented the case to a grand jury. They declined to indict Officer Ramos and later released the body and squad camera footage. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.